Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to display an input message when a cell is selected in Excel. Now don't confuse this with a comment because it's not the same thing. Uh, if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com search for the video tutorial and you can download it there. And um, So let's go ahead and begin. What I've got here are two tabs. I'm going to show you two examples of how to do this. One might be more useful than the other. The first one here I've got an employee list. Um, so employees here and sick days here and um, say you have to update the sick days by hand so maybe you want to put a note for some of these cells now where it might be more useful is in a form so like I've got here let me go ahead and change it a little bit so um, here you enter the ID number in the yellow box right here and the person's name position salary and years work worked all appear here. Could be through a VLOOKUP, index match, some search function. Uh, very easy to do. Um, but the point is really that when you input the ID number here, you're going to want a message to pop up to remind the person inputting the number that maybe they need to include all dashes in the ID number or um, make sure to include the first three letters for every ID number. Something similar to that. And since this is the more useful example, let's go ahead and start here. So I've explained to you what it is, so let's go ahead and add a message to pop up to remind someone what to do here. So first select the cell where you'd like it to appear, then go to the data tab, then select data validation. And if you're in a previous version of Excel, you can use the shortcut Alt D L and that will open up the data validation window. So once here, go to the input message tab. Make sure show input message when cell is selected is checked, otherwise you can't do anything. And now here you can add a title as well as an input message. So for the title we could call it ID entry. And for this, um, we could put a little message include include the first or include first three letters with the ID number. So you probably don't want to make it too terribly long. So now you've got the title input message. Go ahead and click OK. Now let's select away from the cell. So here you're not going to know that you have an input message at all. So that way it doesn't clutter up the worksheet, doesn't confuse people like when you have a bunch of comments, you've got these red little triangles in the corner. So no one's going to think, oh I have to read all of this stuff. But when they go to enter something in the form, then they see the message ID entry include first three letters with the ID number so that way they cannot ever miss it and um, that's how you can include a little pop-up input message uh, in Excel when you select a cell to remove it simply select this cell go to data validation or alt DL go to the input message tab and select clear all okay and then your message is gone. So that's how you can do uh, input messages. The only other one I was going to show is the employee list. Um, so if someone has to update these uh, all the time, you could put a particular note for a particular employee. Just like we did before, go to the data tab, data validation, or alt DL, input message, title, something like this. So when the say secretary goes to update that, he's always sick, whatever. You know, that's how you can uh, put the message in if you want to take it away, data validation, clear all, okay. So that was two very quick examples, the form obviously being the most important, so that um, you can remind people uh, exactly what they need to do when they're entering data into particular cells. So and that's it for this tutorial. If you'd like to get the workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, and you can download it there.